In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to go ahead and use custom Google fonts with the headway theme for WordPress. This is something which a lot of people have been having trouble with, but this is a method that's worked quite well for me. So first off, I'll introduce you to the Google fonts. Now, basically, when we're talking in terms of what you can display on the internet, uh, in, without going into too much detail, there is only a limited amount of fonts that you can actually use to display content on the web. The bad news of this is that a lot of people will have trouble making their websites look truly unique. Now there's a few different services that are available that you can use to create great looking fonts for your website, but the free one is the Google font directory and that is what I will use today. So first off, if we have a look at the actual website, the thing that I want to go ahead and do is I want to change the, t the actual font for this part of the theme, the actual title. Now if we have a look in the back end here, in the actual visual editor, if um, I just open up the design editor and I click on the heading, you can see down here that there's only a small selection of fonts that I can use and none of these, I don't really want to use any of these. So what I'm going to do, first off, I'll just save the changes in here just so that it actually reflects on the main page. So now that that's done, I'll just reload that, that can work in the background and I'll reload this main page. Now the tool that I will be using to be able to do this, because uh, because the main thing that we're going to need to be able to do here is we need to be able to identify where in the CSS code this is. So first off, the tool that I have used is a tool called Firebug. It is a free download that you can add on to either Firefox or even to Google Chrome. In this instance, I'm using Google Chrome. I recommend that you download it. It's a much more stable browser in my experience than what Firefox is and it's much more modern. So make sure that it's completely up to date first. And then when you install Firebug, you'll see it up the top here, this little bug. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to click on inspect and then I'm simply just going to hover over the text, the actual title. Now you can see here that as I'm going it actually selects different elements of the page and it puts a border around those little elements. As you do that you'll see that the content down below here will actually change to reflect whereabouts it is that you're selecting. So first I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the actual title I'm going to go ahead and just click on that and that will just make it so that it stays in here. Now you can see here, this right here, this is the actual whereabouts in the CSS that you're going to need to edit to be able to use that font. So for the moment I'm just going to leave that sit there. Uh, actually I might even close that down because I will come back to that. Now. Second, the second part is I'm going to head over to the Google font directory. Now I'm going to choose the font that I want to use. Now this one here stands out to me as wild as it is, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and you can see how the font actually looks here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on get the code. Now normally you would just go ahead and post this into the head of your page. For some reason this doesn't work all that well at all with using headway, so I'm not going to use that. However, this part here is going to be important. Now, we'll come back to that, but in order to be able to use these fonts with Headway, just expand the advanced techniques down the bottom here, and you'll see down the bottom here that there is the at import function here. This is what I'm going to need. So, I'm just going to copy that onto my clipboard, and then in the dashboard for Headway, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to head down into Appearance here, just make sure that, that is expanded first. Then I'm going to head into the editor. Now in here, there's a file called Custom CSS. Now the trick here is that this has to be the very first piece of code that you embed. Otherwise, if you reference it in the CSS file, then it's not the actual. It's not really going to know what to do with it. So just press Enter once or twice and copy that into the custom CSS file. Now to go ahead and just click update and that will save the custom.css file so that it has that little tiny piece of code. Now the next part involves editing the CSS so that you will actually display that font as the header. Now 
I will just mention here that there will be a little bit of confusion whether or not to add it into this page here into the custom CSS file or whether or not to actually just go into the actual the visual editor and click on live CSS editor now as a rule of thumb with headway I generally do not use this because it's an easy way to try and help me keep organized is just to use the actual custom CSS file now one thing that you do this is what I do to make sure that everything is arranged is remember um, this little sequence of symbols. Now basically these two symbols here, anything that you enter between these two will not show up in CSS at all. This is hidden. So in here I'm just going to type header styling I header text styling and then I'll just go down here and I'm just going to go ahead and close this off. You don't have to do this, but I just do this so that I can help keep things organized. So end header text styling. And then I'm going to go ahead and just close that off. You don't, as I said, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I do this just as a means of helping to keep things arranged. Now, as I said before about this, um, part right here coming in handy. I will come back to that, but the first thing that I do need to do is in this page, I need to identify what it is that I'm editing. So this is where I head back to this main page here, and I load up the uh, Firebug plugin. Again, click on Inspect, click on the part of the page, and then you've got this piece of text right here. Now, make sure first that it is referring to the font, the color, and everything to do with that text. In this case, it matches up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that here. And then I'll close off that bracket as well. So you can see that there's one here that opens it and one that closes it. And anything is just gonna go into here. I like to just press two spaces just to make sure that everything's organized. And when you have a lot of CSS in there, you'll see why that helps. Now, in the Google font page, remember how we had this part here. Now, this is already referencing something here. So all that we need to do is just, click, is just simply select this part of the text here, copy that, and then just paste it right into here. And then we go down, we update the file. We'll just wait for that to save. And then in effect, what that is doing, that is saying for this particular thing here, now I'm not going to go into the techniques of exactly what that means, because if you're new to CSS, this is not really something that's going to help. There's a lot of learning material over at sitepoint.com, and if you want to learn CSS, you can head over to headwaytheme.biz forward slash CSS, and that is a great product that I actually use to refer to whenever I'm doing CSS. Because again, I'm, I'm not really fluent with CSS. It's not something that you need to know a lot about unless you're a full on hardcore um, web designer. Now that I've gone ahead and done that, that's saying to use this font for anywhere on the page that this refers to, which in this case is the header. So now if we head back to the main page, I'll just go ahead and just refresh that. And if all goes well, hopefully it should work. And as you can see right there, that's used that custom font. And it is actually a font instead of just being an image. So that's the basics of how to go ahead and use Google Fonts with uh, Headway. If you do have any more questions, feel free to comment on the post in which you're seeing this on or on the video on YouTube. And I'll be more than happy to help out.